Well, I had all these parts off my old F450, so I've got a spare, I wouldn't say spare, I've got a NASA that was going to sell. Uh, receiver, motors, you name it, I've got it. So, my old one had a bit of a bit of a mishap. If that'll focus. Focus. No. So it had a bit of a, a bit of a mishap anyway. So I decided to buy an F three thirty. So it was just a frame. It was actually uh, eighteen quid, I think it was seventeen quid, something like that, from uh, quadcopters. So just a size comparison. And you can see the arm from the 450 and the uh, the 330. Um, anyway, I've got all the parts, so I'm going to fit my old NASA to it. I've also got the four. I've got four motors for it, which are in perfect uh, perfect working order. So the the intention is either to make a um, uh, just a bash about sort of uh, quadcopter or maybe even sell it when it's completed don't know yet so here we go here's the build Some people put the the ESC wire. They actually put it around the outside. I'll get this to focus. Focus. Focus you. Anyway, people put this uh, put the wire around the outside for some reason. Look. Focus. But, as you can see, it, it does actually quite neatly go in the middle of the actual uh, the two posts. And that's just going to fit nicely on there. Although they're a bit big, but it doesn't matter. So, I've got all the ESCs and I've got the legs on. I've still got to wire the um, control connectors, the Futaba leads, whatever you want to call them. I don't know. So I've got to wire those up as well. So that's stage one done anyway. So I'll get back to stage two or three or four. I don't know, don't care.
to say this. Because these ESCs are um, obviously modified, this one, which is motor four, my position that isn't quite long enough. So I'm going to have to strip the ESC apart and replace that one cable. Uh, it's all sent to drivers. It's all semi sort of together now. Um, the only thing I want to share with you is if you've got a receiver that does um, S bus, D bus, PPM, whatever you want to call it, please use it because the NASA does support it. And as you can see on here, if I'll try and zoom in, if it will focus on it. As you can see, uh, thanks. As you can see, I'm only actually using two wires. Um, one goes to the um, the PMU or whatever it's called, which is the the LED module, and the other one goes to the receiver. So, and it works absolutely perfect. So I mean, it saves some weight. But yeah, if your receiver actually supports it, then use it. Makes it a lot better, a lot uh, a lot easier for wiring as well. So there you go. Well, it's all built, and I tested it in the living room, and it flies. So I was quite surprised actually, because I've got a four thousand milliamp battery on the bottom. And it's only actually got 8 inch props on it. I didn't even think it lifted it, but it lifted it no problem at all. So, if you want an easy, cheap quad, nice and small and mobile, they're easy to build, very, very easy. It took me about, what, three hours, and I'm very meticulous. So, We'll see what they're like outside and see what it flies like. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed.